Have you seen what's happening out there? They need to be reminded of the order of things. It's a big, fun film. It's, it's what we fast. set out to make, which is a nice thing. Sometimes you can see a movie and you go, ah, oh, damn, it's not what I thought. I always wanted the tone to be kind of buoyant and light. Yeah, happy now. Louis, you know, to his credit, made everything practical in the sense of we did have a massive scorpion to fight. Because then it gives it a different kind of energy and it's not bogus. I got to be in the underwater tank, which for me was a massive thing and yeah. I completely fell in love with it. I hated it. She's ballsy. She helped me get through that. <laughs> I loved it, yeah. And cut. It's scary having to put your trust in a guy that when you do this, he brings the air in. Right. I might have some trust issues. I was like, <laughs> and we haven't even begun filming yet. We like, like all it. the action. Yeah, she's literally hanging them. When they drop her, she, she dropped. Three, two, one, drop! Cut! <laughs> You're like this. With the heights. I'm yeah, not you were like, I don't like heights. I As they're pulling her up there, you can see her yelling out, going, Sam, what's with the harness? Where, how high am I going? I'm going, it's all right, it's all okay, you can do this. Um. Yeah. In this type of action adventure movie, you're going to get a few bumps and bruises. That's why they hire a guy from Denmark and a guy from Australia. We're dumb enough to do it. I've got a nine-year-old nephew, I want it to be his kind of fun gladiator. So he gets inspired to go and pick up a rubber sword and smash his uncle. Um, <laughs> then I'll be bumped and bruised. There like you that. go. In a big special effects laden fun blockbuster like this, you know, it's not a history lesson. It's got, yeah. it's got big scorpions the size of dump trucks. <laughs> um, the one thing you've got to always keep in mind is if we can ground it and not be overwhelmed by that kind of world, mm -hmm. then an audience goes into the journey better because they have a way in. The 3D can help by bringing them more into the journey. Somebody's going to have to make a stand. One day, somebody's got to say enough. We are above the clouds. That's not CG. We wanted to go to the actual epic locations. So when you put the CG elements in, it grounds them. And it makes it a bit different from, say, like a, you know, 300 or something like that. Um, freezing cold beach. Freezing cold beach helps us as actors just being in the real location. If I do this, I do it as a man. But you are not just a man. There's themes in the film, the loss, the pain, the love, the fear, going against the grain of what is expected of you. You're provoking the gods and you act as if there will be no consequence. Now what do you want? Should we be afraid? Should we be trembling and soiling ourselves in fear? You're trying to find your place in the world, and I think that's what the 15-year-old teenager inside this 33-year-old man and other people can identify with. You know, I looked at Perseus, he's a, I wanted him to be like a troubled teen. It's the end of the Sam Worthington trilogy. Terminator, he's born. It's about a, a birth of a man. In Avatar, he's a nine-year-old kid becoming a teenager. Now we've got the teenager <laughs> story becoming a man. This is some bizarre <laughs> thing I've come up with. Not by some, some wacky design in my head.